how much are you willing to sacrifice to ride this wave and try and get this championship today? Look at that right. That is a massive wall of water. One of the biggest waves we've seen. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, a massive. And welcome back to the Douglas Cell post show for Tudor Nazare Big Wave Challenge with Portugal 2023 24. My name is Ben Mundy. I'm joined in the booth by Felicity Palmentier and Carlos Burley for the post show. And of course, we need some, I mean, we love wipeouts. <laughs> and no one got we do, hurt. We do. No <laughs> one got hurt. But this is uh, some uh, wipeouts throughout the day, Felicity. And um, when they go down, they go down hard. Oh, they do. And uh, you know who else loves the wipeouts? Is the crowd on the hill absolutely loves the wipeouts. They were going almost just as loud for wipeouts as what they were for the amazing performances. Yeah, why are humans so mean? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> why are humans so mean? <laughs> and that was a gnarly one too. And there's so much force, Carlos. When these, I mean, you've been hit by these things. What's it feel like when one of those foam hits your heart? Oh man, you don't want to be in that situation. It's so hard, you know, you feel like you're a pair of socks inside a, a, a wash machine, you know, you're going all over the place. You get hit by a, a truck, something like that, you know. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. Right at the eight, sort of bottom of that apex. And all good, as you said, everyone escaped, no major injuries. And uh, everyone came out safe, courtesy of the safety team's incredible effort and the surfers themselves. There's the situation. We're right there on the top of that beautiful, um, incredible nature here in Nazareth and the Fort. To be here on the dying light, a beautiful evening in Portugal yet again. Um, Felicity, I mean, this has been an incredible competition. The format was quite important. Um, talk us through what you liked about it and the new format and yeah, how it went. For me, it was my first time to Nazare and it lived up to its expectations. We had amazing performances, uh, movement on the leaderboard, and at the end of the day, the swell came to play, so yeah. And that best wave d times two, that's a big part of this, isn't it? It means that you know you get reward if you go big on, on one particular wave. For sure, I mean, your best wave is uh, doubled, right? So the highest score for a single uh, individual total can be 30, as a team, 60. But yeah, definitely a point of difference when it Forty-minute heats, only three teams. You know, so much time to to get your scores, and well, that's what led to this leaderboard we're going to have a look at now. And the final the final washdown sees here. So there is the final washdown. Lucas Chianka, third time in a row. Uh, so that's a team leaderboard. So Lucas Chianka and Pedro Scooby have won the event. So um, <laughs> incredible team performance event. And looking through that list, um, Carlos Burley. It's just so much mix, as you said of. You know, experience yeah. and so some young kids. Clement was incredible, and you know, but the best surfers in the end, Lucas and Pedro, have won. Yeah, I was speaking to the boys uh, last night, and you know, Lucas said to me, "Well, I'm very nervous because you know there are a lot of pressure out there. I have been changing my partners, and now I'm with Pedro Scooby, which I admire and I like a lot. But you know, he was surfing with Nick, and now we, all the eyes are on us." And, you know, I'm very impressed with what Nick and, and Clement did out there. Yeah, well, here, are Carlos, you wanted to see the highlights. And these are the highlights from the winning team. Okay. So, Pedro Scooby and Lucas Yank. And this is how they won the 2023-24 uh, event. And, um, well, it's just this extra element of, of flair and high-performance surfing, Felicity, that makes a difference. Yeah, Lucas just surfs this wave like it's three to four foot. It's absolutely incredible because this is super hard to surf. I mean, Pedro as well. I mean, they both surfed so well today, cut above the rest, and, yeah, they're just toying with this wave, which is, you know, even easier said than done because a lot of the time you take off on this wave and you're sort of survival stance just trying to make it to the channel. And he's, he's got that spot right in front of the cliff. He gets those left, those real steep ones, doesn't he, Carlos? He's almost made that little section his own. Well, he came to me and, uh, last night, him and Pedro, and uh, they said, oh, no, I know what we need to do to, to win this event. Uh, we, we need a wave with a lot of wall ahead of us, and, and we have to be strong on our turns. And that's what they start to, to do. Uh, uh. Yeah, well, they put that plan into place and executed yeah. it perfectly. Just a mix of talent, commitment, uh, you know, incredible execution. And, uh, you know, they're happy as Larry. We saw him before having a proper 
laugh at just at their old, um, you know, just how, how much fun they've had. Now, though, we're going to look at the individual women's sport. We just touched on it there before, but, um, you know, we only had two women's in this particular uh, event, but they both put on a great show for City and, you know, just reward for the commitment they've shown to this wave uh, over a long time. Myra, obviously, Kabira has been here for more than a decade and, as Carlos mentioned, has been through all sorts of injuries and come back stronger. Uh, and Michelle de Bouillon, well, she's with her partner Ian. Uh, Jan Cassenza is just really also committing herself to this wave and that's just incredible. Yeah, for me, I loved watching Maya today. I thought it was really inspiring. Speaking to her prior to this event, you know, she she's carrying a, a, a knee injury at the moment and she said she hasn't even really been surfing much. So just to stay afloat, she'll be happy. And first time teaming up with uh, Tony together. And I think, you know, uh, Maya getting these waves like we see right here is just a testament to Tony's driving and how well they're working together as a team. Yeah, well, I said that to Tony. He says, well, I did lose a ski in the first five minutes of the first team. So they, <laughs> yeah, they lost the ski. So even to lose a ski and then come back and still yeah. win has been incredible. Yeah, but they were well, able to recover from that trauma, you know, and it seems like it didn't affect much. And I have to agree 100% with, uh, with Rick because, um, well, Tony did a really great job find a really good waves for Maya and Maya did a good job surfing the waves very well. Yeah, Maya Gabriel, she's an absolute icon and legend of the sport and all the spoils, all the rewards are so well deserved and it's, it's great to see her uh, yet again climb to the top of, uh, of the sport. We're going to move on now to the individual men's leaderboard. So a bit more cutthroat, we had some shifting towards that final heat and uh, they are just going through them now. I'm going to have a look at exactly who has come out on top and well I wouldn't say it's a surprise surprise but it's Matt the man Luke, Lucas Shianka has won the men's individual performance award again for 30 in a row and well he's just on fire this man isn't he he's, he's the future of the sport for sure I mean he's just pushing that progression again and again and one thing I really loved about his surfing out here today is you know we've seen him do those carving maneuvers before and we've seen him go to the air but he was having variation between those carves He'd start with that nice big carving maneuver and then the second maneuver was like a big layback hack under the lip. So one person though that's sitting in second, Clement, absolutely incredible performance today. I just really want to highlight that because, you know, first time competing in this event and he really came and showed up and blew up. Yeah, Clement coming on the wing of Nick Von Rupp. So Nick's sort of been pushing him and that pair together has been incredible performance and Clement first ever surf. And here we see the highlights from the, uh, from Lucas, yeah, just the way to deal with that. I mean, he makes that chop look non-existent, doesn't he? And that is not hard. And then starts laying into it, Carlos. Well, that, that's when uh, things start to happen to Lucas, you know. That's when he really finds himself very close to the cliff, where the wave has more power. And it's really bumped because the, the closest of the pit, uh, close to the rock, it's more and powerful. It has more backwash, and you have to deal with that. Uh, bumps over there and, and he knows how to deal and he knows how to fly in between sections he knows how to turn his board very well and so he he calls the, the game for him you know and, if and he, he doesn't like to, to do the game that the other guys are doing you yeah know? exactly he, he says, finds his own oh, lines doesn't yeah he? he finds his own lines he's he likes to be very close to the cliff he likes to deal with the bumps because he knows he's comfortable and he raise the bars for the other competitors. And that's dangerous in there, right? That's right in front of the rocks. You, you can't make mistakes, but think about Lucas, he just doesn't make mistakes. He doesn't fall <laughs> off, does he? He always, invariably, even though he's on the critical sections doing critical turns, he just doesn't, he doesn't fall off. Yeah, his feet were pretty much like glue to his board today. And uh, I, pff, I tell you what, I was really impressed with the level of surfing. Yeah, he's incredible. And he just keeps doing it over and over. And he's, he's, he's young, you know? He's got <laughs> so much, so much time up, up his sleeve, Carlos. Yeah, he's 28 years old. He's young. Uh, the only thing that he needs to, to worry about right now is let's train, train hard, and be mentally and physically prepared because the new generation is coming. Yeah. Now he's not the upcoming anymore. You know, you were saying he's the future. He's not the future. He's the present. He's had. He has won the last three events over here. So. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's the present, and he's got another event coming up. We've also obviously. Uh, part of the big wave season, uh, we've got the Jaws uh, challenge coming up our way, which is in the waiting period. And this is the wave you know very well. Swiss City has kind of uh, competed out here. And, uh, you know, another incredible wave and part of the big wave season here at WSL. And, I mean, this it's, it's so different. That's what we love about it, isn't it? It's so contrasting, but, you know, incredible. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, the Jaws event is different to this event today. Jaws is a paddle event. 
which means these surfers are using their own paddle strength just to paddle and position in the lineup. And I mean, we're seeing some amazing wipeouts here, but Jaws is in my opinion, is just so big and ferocious and one of the most big, perfect barreling waves on the planet. It is much harder to get into a wave using your own hands, <laughs> your own arm. You know, over here, uh, you have the ski, it's much easier, you avoid the drop, it's more about performance. Mm -hmm. And over there, it's 100% performance, but you have to get yourself into the wave. So <laughs> it, it takes more uh, respect from our community, for sure, when you paddle well. Yeah, it's such an incredible wave, and the women, you know, just pushing and pushing out there. Felicity, it's, you know, who, you know, who, who, who should we look for in terms of women surfing out there? I mean, well, you, I mean you, know, you might be injured this year, but who, 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 who's your nemesis? Uh, we'll have you can't go past Paige Arms or Billy Kempo, right? They're the most winningest surfers out at Jaws, and yeah, I mean, I'd love to have a crack, but unfortunately at the moment I'm injured, so we'll see how my injury plays out. But Paige is the absolute queen out there. I mean, Andrea Moller's put a lot of time as well as Kiala Kennelly. But yeah, Paige is the queen and uh, see if she can defend her title. Yeah, and that's all coming our way. So we've got the waiting period to the 31st. So we're just waiting for when that Jaws swell turns on. Uh, the double cell will call it on and then all eyes will be on that incredible event. So more to come. Keep your eyes on the WSL uh, website and the Instagram page for all the alerts. And um, as we see down there, look, we see the pre gathering around for the presentation. Beautiful light there, right on the cliff. It's such an incredible vista. It's, I know we, we may have said it once or twice before, Carlos, but just the geography of this place is it's just phenomenal, isn't it? Just to be intruding out into the ocean, and that's, that's the vibe you get from it. You can't help but kind of just feel connected to the ocean. And what a beautiful day today. Eh? Throughout the whole day, we had an amazing weather. Perfect. You know, yep. No wind at all, and it, sometimes a little bit chilly, but you know, you have some jackets to just warm <laughs> up. But you know, even the temperature was perfect today, you know, yeah, around, it's around 15 gold. to 18 degrees, not more than that, not less than that. And I yeah. really appreciate it, you know, come all the way from Hawaii, you know, landed here yesterday, <laughs> expecting to be in, in the cold weather, but definitely it's not, you know, it's, it's a perfect day, beautiful day for a, a big wave event. and. Yeah, exactly right. It's been an incredible day. We had to wait around in the morning a little bit. That was fine. Just waited for that swell to fill in. And, I mean, that was such a good call to, to make sure that, that swell filled in. As we saw in the last sort of two hours, it just came to life. So, uh, yeah, very good call from Garrett McNamara, who knows a little thing or two about this wave. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just waiting that extra bit of time made all the difference and got some big numbers. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's just been an incredible, incredible day of entertainment. We've got the top five moments. We're going to get through. We're going to get... Uh, both Felicity and Carlos to go through these. I think you go first, Felicity. This is um, the top five moments of the day. There was so many, but we've narrowed it down to our five best. And uh, we've got some wipeouts coming. I mean, we love wipeouts, Felicity. Of course, the wipeouts are going to make the top ah, five moment. I mean, to. as much as they might not be uh, the most pleasant time for the surfers, uh, it sure gets the crowd going. And uh, so get the surfers going on a little journey underneath the water. But, yeah, I mean, there were some spectacular ones today. I mean, just watching that massive mountain of water crash on the top of these surfers. Uh, pretty scary, but uh, um, here we have that jet ski flipping there. But I mean, one thing we need to highlight with all these wipeouts, I mean, just the safety team and um, how uh, well oiled that machine is and just making sure that all the surfers are safe, uh, even after all these crazy moments today. Yeah, it's a massive team effort from across the board. And, you know, they, they, they just always there at the right time. The protocols are so ingrained, the safety has gone through the roof. It, it oh. makes that possible. That, that was possibly <laughs> the, the worst wipeout of the day, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And But there is the safety. And oh, my it, goodness. Yes. What a pickup that was. So incredible wipeouts. Uh, here we got the most committed award, though. And really, one of the sort of most, you know, what the servers really love, and uh, it's that Clement Resro. So Clement, young Frenchman, coming with Nick Von Raff and Carlos, he just, he just put on a show, didn't he? He just, was, he, 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 he just oh. went for it. He's amazing, you know. I, I didn't notice him until today. You know, I I, I, I know him and, and I know that he's a really good surfer, but I was shocked about his performance today. You know, he was on control, and that's what we want to see in a big wave surfer. You know, sometimes you know you see guys riding really big waves, but they not really on control of the situation. They are more surviving. This guy is very comfortable. Seems like he's surfing a, a, a three-foot wave, a six-foot wave, and he's surfing a bomb, a 40-foot wave. And that situation is not easy at all for yourself to keep control. And 
is just going under the lip, you know, doing backflips, looking for the barrel, very fluid. I just love it to see Clement today. So, Congratulations, Clement. Yeah, Clement. He's just so, you know, the cost is apparent. He's got a bit of kite surfing background, but it's just his style was one yeah. of the things. But here we go, number three. Wow, the best team performance. Scooby and Chumbo. And they're just kind of rock stars, I reckon, at the moment. They just carry themselves with so much energy and, well, the surfing is oh, just incredible. For sure. I mean, it's just complete dominance are the two words that come to mind, these guys. I mean, they just surfing just with so much control and uh, progression. I've just loved what I've seen from Lucas, just the variety of repertoire. You know, obviously he's got that carving maneuver, but being able to go to that layback snap has been really impressive. I mean, they didn't have the lead for all of the day though. Nick and Clement did have that lead there for a hot little minute. But uh, yeah, Lucas and Scooby managed to turn it in their second heat. So the pressure was on them and they were able to perform under that pressure, which probably makes this win even a little bit more sweet. Yeah, they didn't have their own way and they had to fight for it. And just the relaxed nature that they've got, you know, like Lucas, I know he's 100% yeah. committed, but he just gets that fine line, doesn't he? Enjoyment, commitment. I, I was going to say that how good it is to keep yourself so calm in situations like that. You know, you see a big wave and it feels like it's a small wave and you feel comfortable, you just look the lip and I'm going to hit the lip. Mm. You know, I'm going to turn right here. I'm going to just fade a little bit more so I can get the barrel. It's, it's amazing, you know. Incredible. But, yeah. I, but I have to take my hats off uh, for Scooby today because it wasn't an easy job to... Uh, team up with Lucas Shumbo, you know, Lucas Shumbo always pushed the limit as you guys can see on the screen, you know, he's just shattering the waves all over the place and, and coming from a, a cold and from, you know, uh, Brazil and the last minute and teaming up with uh, Lucas, which is a crazy driver too. We saw the image of him, you know, just pushing the ski too hard and, and flipping the ski, you know, and I, and I saw, and I could tell, you know, at the back of the ski was uh, Pedro Scooby just, you know, thinking, oh, no, again, oh, no, no, Lucas, so come <laughs> on, please. Scoob. The last thing that I need right now is to, you know, get a ski on top of my head. Please don't do it, man. No, so I take my head off just to keep it up with, with uh, uh, Lucas. It's not easy at all, you know, it's no, not easy at all. Not at all. And someone that did make it look pretty easy here was, Mega Beer, we talked about Maya's performance, and here we go again. Best female, uh, you know, best female performance, and uh, she she deserves to, to lead out this day. She um she was a star for sure. Yeah. Uh, you guys actually weren't in the booth when I said this, but uh, Maya said to me a couple of days ago that uh, one of the things she was doing in preparation for this uh, event today was that she was making sure her dogs were groomed in case she won best female performance. So her dogs look really good in the photo. Oh, <laughs> that's amazing. So <laughs> she gets to uh, reap the rewards there and so do her dogs. But yeah, Ooh, I like that turn. How, yeah. how smooth was that turn? You know, with the split at the back. What a great way. Yeah. And the color of her board, it's really nice too. Huh? Yeah, it contrasts well with uh, yeah, the blue. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm just... <laughs> Still thinking about what the dog's haircuts are. I know, I can't oh, wait man, to yeah. see this photo. Yeah, this reveal's going to be great. And there we get the presentation. <laughs> and there's the mass, everyone coming down to see the surfers. You know, the Portuguese crowd, I know we've said it, but they're just so passionate, so committed, and they love it. And we might go down soon, and Paulie Evans holding the mic down there. Uh, and we're going to do the, um, the honours there. We've got the surfers coming in with all the, the VIP down there, and the crowd are going, oh, that's the surfers coming out. <laughs> And they're going through, and it's uh, it's great, isn't it, Carlos, to see these big wave surfers just so, like, you know, so applauded, don't yeah. they? They just love it. Now, it's great to feel that emotion coming out of the public and everybody it's cheering for you. The whole day on the beach, you know, just, you know, having the time of their life, and it's still waiting for the podium to see all the, the winners and the prize awards and everything, it's, it's, it's crazy, you know, it's one of the best moments. I've been there already and I know how good it is. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and there's Scooby. Look how stoked Scooby is. Yeah. And, and Fink, just yeah. next to them. That's also, a beautiful teamwork. Exactly, there's a big team all driving. Look, Fink, the skimboarder, world champion skimboarder. He, um, he was driving safety, so he was part of the team. And, and uh, now come the rewards. And so they're all just getting together and so stoked. So the male, best male performance from the team. <laughs> and we've got the others coming in. And everyone's pretty stoked right now. The Brazilians 
like yourself, always, always, mate. No, they, they know they're here, don't we? We know the Brazilians are here, and they, yeah. they bring that passion, that, and they love Portugal, don't they? It's sort of like a second home almost now, isn't it? Well, uh, we can't speak our natural language. That, yeah. that makes a huge difference, you know. And we feel very comfortable. We love the culture. We love the people here. We love the food. We love the waves. We love everything about Portugal. And I have to say. Thank you very much for all the locals here for embrace us. Not only us, the whole big wave community, the whole surf community. Portugal plays a big role when it comes to surf nowadays. Look the crowd sharing. This is amazing, man. Yeah, absolutely amazing. I'll tell you what, we've got Paul Evans down there. And I think I might hand it over to you, Paul. <laughs> the stage is all yours. Thank you, Ben. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. If ever a crowd could match the energy of this wave, it's you guys. Make some noise. The best crowd in surfing. <laughs> what an incredible event. I love absolute bedlam down here. We've got some great, incredible legends of surfing, and the chapters just keep on continuing here at Nazare. An incredible day of waves. We had to wait. We had to be patient. You guys are really patient. In the end, it all came together. What a brilliant day it was. Special thanks, of course, to Tudor, our presenting sponsor. Also, event partners include Visit Portugal, Australia, Galicia, Red Bull, Millennium, Mayo, Tourism West, and Hertz. And once again, a huge thanks to the community of Nazare. Let's make some noise for our sponsors and for you guys once again. <laughs> I'd like to welcome onto stage to help me presenting the trophies. The mayor of Nazare, Walter Shisharo, also Shisharo. from Tudor, will have Charlene Renault. They'll be on stage helping hand out the silverware and the prizes. All right, surfing at this level, toe surfing, it's a team event. And it's all about the teamwork. Of course, that makes the dream work. Our first award will go out to the best team. And there was an interesting one today didn't have it all their own way. They had to uh, fight back in their heats. Let's make some noise for our first award to be handed out by Walter. Best team of the Tudor Nazare Big Wave Challenge. Your applause, please, for Lucas Shumbo Shianka and Pedro Scooby. Get a full team up here. We've got Lucas as well. Let's get a quick word with you, boys. First of all, Shumbo, word from you, mate. Another good day at the office for you at Nazare. Yeah, what a good day, guys. Thanks for all this energy. It's always for you guys. We did an amazing show in the water, but Nazare is always a perfect place for us. <laughs> this is our spotter. And the teamwork ma makes the dream work. Thank you, everybody, to be here and make the day so special for everyone. Woo! Uh, Pedro, quick word in Portuguese? Yeah? Can I talk Portuguese? Yeah, quick, yeah. I prefer. Vamos, Brasil! Oh. Oh, há dois dias atrás, eu tava de cama, doente no Rio. I was scared to enter the plane, so this prize will go to my mother, who said, son, go and confirm in you. And Lucas trusted me, even though I'm sick. We're together. At the end, he turned and said, Scooby, you're the president of 570, man. Let's go, I believe in you. I just had to take a bizarre drink. He believed, the team believed. We're together. Let's go, Brazil! 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 Let's go, All right, we're going to ask you guys to come back up at the end for photos and our straight Galicia shower. Next up, we'll head towards... We're going to bring up our award for the best female. Once again, it was another tight battle. And once again, it was a story about someone who's got a great history with this wave. And once again, that history just keeps going. Ladies and gentlemen... Let's make some noise and welcome up to the stage your Tudor Nazare Toe Surfing Challenge Best Female Performance, Maya Gabeira. <laughs> and Charlene Renault from Tudor will be handing over the trophy here for our 
Oh, Brazilian podium. Sorry, guys. Yeah, Maya. Quick word with you, please. Valeu, galera. Não acredito. Esse clip maravilhoso. Thank you so much for everyone that put on an amazing event in 72 hours. This is incredible. Muito, muito, muito obrigada. Valeu, time. All right, looks like they're shaking. Let's just shower started early. We've still got... Oh, they got the watch. Maya, Maya, here's your watch. I'm pretty sure it's waterproof. I'm pretty sure it's bear proof, but you know, let's keep it clean for the, for the minute. <laughs> well done, Maya Guevara. All right, last order of business. Yes, this guy, we're going to say his name. Best male performance once again. He's got an unbelievable 100% record here at Nazare. A huge round of applause. This guy, Lucas Shomboshianka. All right, we're going to get everyone up here for... Yeah, the shower's gone good. Stay for photos. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys have been absolutely awesome. Thanks once again. One more round of applause for our winners. Go back to the host set with Ben Mundy and friends. A uh, incredible uh, celebration. Uh, we saw some excitement. We saw some Australia Galicia going everywhere. I mean, saw some very, very stoked big wave surfers. Was he pumped here? Yeah, lots of energy there. And I, I love to see it. I love the passion. I love the enthusiasm. And it's a big day of surfing. So just to see all that um, come together and these surfers come out on top with. Uh, with wins is incredible. What about you, Carlos Berlo? How do you feel, mate? How would you sum up sum up your feelings sort of after after today? Well, mission accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy that went the event went on and we had a lot of good waves and the performance level that I saw from the, all the surfers all around was amazing. You know, I see the future of the sport increasing. You know, getting better. The athletes are getting more committed to high performance, to training. And I see a lot of uh, investment on the sport too coming through. And for me, as a fan, as a huge fan and someone, but Maya said, you know, how can you put an event in 72 yeah. hours and this I happened, you know? Yeah, incredible performance from the whole team. So everyone that put this event on from the start to the finish, we thank you. There's a massive, a uh, lot of cogs in this huge wheel. Big wave surfing is alive and well. The big wave season is on to March uh, the 31st. The uh, Tudor George Challenge is coming on, so make sure you get a double surf league to keep an update on that. I'd like to thank you, Flick. Thank you, Carlos, for joining us. Thank you, fans at home. Thanks to the crowd. We're going to watch the highlights, and we'll see you next year. Bye for now. Big wave season is open in the Atlantic where a solid swell has green lighted the Tudor Nazare Big Wave Challenge. Big crowds as ever lining the iconic cliffs here. Some of the very finest athletes from the world of big wave surfing. We're underway here and plenty of action going down right now. Skis buzzing in the lineup trying to pick the eyes. Bonner up in the backhand tap. Chumbo is off the rope and on a wave. Wow, look at this one. Oh, it's just beautiful. drawing that water up the face. The bottom turns committed and smooth. And then the panache to throw in. Style and some speed. And that is exactly the kind of energy we expect from Chumbo. Wow. Absolute bomb. Then just going so fast. And look at the oh. section here. <laughs> Antonio Loriano, absolute bomb of a wave. And here's the pickup in swell that we've been anticipating. 
Oh, shot bomb. Wow. Absolute massive wave. We've got a big looking wave, really, really solid. Here we go, attacking. Nice, hard, carving turn. And off the bottom again, Andrew Cotton just laying into it. Absolute bomb. And hanging on there, scooting to the bigger weight we've seen throughout the events. Really aggressive line, and it's smooth and it's attacking. <laughs> that was beautiful. Shell, and it's a bomb for her. Look at this wave as she's absolutely flying. Beautifully done. Well. Wow. A big bomb there. That's Pedro Scooby. This copyrighted event broadcast is produced by the World Surf League for broadcast around the world and may not be retransmitted, reproduced, rebroadcast, or 